Okay, welcome back. We're about ready for one of the big steps, and that's when your email is going to look very different than what you're used to. And I don't want you to be nervous. Uh, you can always go back if you don't like it, but I think you're really going to like this once you start to use it. So at this point, you should have created uh, stars that will allow you to highlight some of the email messages you have because they're things you need to do something with. So like on my screen here, this is my alternate account, not my school account. Uh, and so you'll see here's a handful of messages with some of my red, yellow, or green stars. And they're kind of scattered around. You see also, maybe like yours, I've got some unread messages. So my screen is showing 46 messages. Eight of them over here, eight of them are unread. And I know some of you have thousands and thousands of messages in your inbox. And maybe thousands of them are unread. Um, and again, this step is going to be wonderful for you. So what we're going to do is change the format of our inbox from just everything in a big pile, basically in the order in which it came, to prioritizing. Okay, now there are different ways to do this, and I'm just going to show you one way. And with anything on computers, there's always shortcuts. I don't want to try to get into all the confusing shortcuts. So we're going to go over here to the gear. This is where we do a lot of the setup. And you can be fooled easily on this. You're going to think we're going to go to the inbox, configure inbox, but we're actually going to settings. And then once you get to settings, the third tab over is how you're going to configure in, your inbox. Now, you may have it in a different system right now, but a lot of you are, are left with whatever the default was when you first started using Gmail. And, you know, that kind of separates some of the spam or garbage or social stuff into a separate tab, which is great. It leaves it out of your out of your primary inbox but what we're going to do is select an inbox type called the priority inbox okay so you click on the default the down arrow select priority inbox and then we're going to format how we want the inbox to look and that's done down here where it says the sections so again you can do things your own way once you get used to what this looks like but I'm going to show you a way that I might recommend I like to have my unread mail show up first. Those are things like I need to, to deal with because I don't even know what's trash and what's not. So that's going to be the first thing that shows up in my inbox. So that's good the way it is. Now, I actually like to have emails that I'm in the middle of writing. I like for those to show up next because sometimes I forget that I haven't sent something and I'm like, oh no, I have a draft. I better finish that up. So I'm going to go here to where it says number two, and I'm going to change this from starred to my draft. So I have to click on more options. And then if I scroll down here, you see at the bottom is drafts. And now number two shows up as drafts. But I want my starred items, my to-do items to show up next. So this is great because right now we have an empty third section. So I'm going to add this section and make that my starred. Now, again, you can choose maybe starred could stay the second section. You could do drafts for the third. Or maybe you never leave an email half drafted, and so you wouldn't need a draft. So you can always go back and alter this later. And then the fourth section will be everything else, which is the section I'll describe later. It's something that I don't really think I need much in because if it's priority, it's got a star on it. And if I don't need to deal with it, I'm going to show you how to archive it so it's out of your inbox. So... Uh, all of the other options we have down here are pretty much good the way they are. So we're going to scroll to the bottom and save the changes. And now look at the new arrangement. So all of those bolded, unread messages have come up to the top. Like, hey, you better read your mail so you know what you got to deal with. Here's my drafts. Now I don't have any drafts right now, so that's why that's empty. And here's my start items. Now I've got start items up here too. And these all happen to be unread, but watch what happens when I read one of these. So um, here, let's click on this one. I read it. Okay, I'm done with that. So I'm going to click the back arrow. And then when I click my inbox, you see how my messages went from seven or from eight down to seven. When I click inbox again, now that start item, since it's already been read, is now back in starred. It's not in the unread section. Okay. So if I want to get rid of it and put it into the everything else, maybe it's not on my to-do list anymore. So I'm going to click the star, turn it off. And the next time I refresh my inbox, and sometimes it refreshes itself, you know, every few minutes or so, 
Now that's nowhere in the unread, nor is it in the starred. Okay, so everything now that comes in my inbox probably is not going to be starred. It'll kind of look like this. And then if I want to star it, I'll star it, and it'll go down to this third section. And if I don't, it'll go down here into everything else unless I do the archive step, which is next. I'm not going to show this in this video. But now that we've got this arranged, we are ready to start using the email inbox as an easy way to organize to do archive and everything goes into one of those two spots all right so hopefully this was helpful i hope you like the new look and we'll move on to the next step next